I'm Brian Elkins, and this is Note Driller. This is the first thing that I ever made in Flex with ActionScript 3. I was learning how to use timers, and as I was learning how to use timers, it just blew up into this piece of software. This is something that I've used with students as I've taught them music theory, specifically how to read notes. I've used it instead of flashcards, and the students enjoy it because it's like a game. So I would like to show you how this note driller works. We've got our timer right here, and when I hit start, it is going to generate random notes according to the settings that I have over here. The settings that I have can uh, determine what is available to test. So when I hit it the first time, um, all I have are treble clef notes, so they're only going to be up here on the top. It is not going to include ledger lines, so they're all going to be on the staff, not above or below, very far. Um, and accidentals are not included, so there will be no sharps or flats. I'm not going to talk about the theory. This is just to demonstrate how the program works. Um, so I also have these hardest and easiest buttons here. So if I have, uh, you know, different settings here, and I hit the hardest button, then it shifts it to the most difficult setting that there possibly could be. And and I can hit this easiest button, and it will shift it to the easiest. So starting with the easiest, um, not worrying about the burning time. I have my keyboard here where I can hit the notes that appear and this teaches them to recognize where they are on the keyboard as well as what their names are. I have the show key names button right here which uh, is for those who need it. We of course don't want to have that on any longer than necessary but um, if I it also shows me how many I get right and how many I get wrong when I hit stop, it shows that I got eight correct, I got three incorrect, and what I would do with the students is I would have them uh, get a certain number right within a certain amount of time to show that they had mastered those notes. So I'm going to hit clear all, and now I'm going to try uh, both clefs, let's see, above the staff, and I'm going to include both kinds of accidentals on that. So I hit start again and now I have my ledger lines above the staff for both clefs and I have a flat on that one just to, as according to my settings. And it's going from both staves and since it is saying both it's not giving me any that don't have an accidental. If I were to say all possible notes then that would make it so that it would include white notes as well. So I hit stop on that. It shows me that I got nine correct, zero incorrect. That is all that that does, but it is a great tool for teaching students how to read music notes.